to my channel. We will start on topic 2, atoms, molecule and ion. We have three subtopics that we will cover in four different videos. For this video, we will be focusing on 2.1, proton number and nuclear number, where we will discuss what is subatomic particles and where are they located in an atom. And also, we will look into proton number, nuclear number, and so on. Subatomic particles are those particles that made up atom. We have three subatomic particles. They are proton, neutron, and electron. In the other words, in an atom, we have proton, neutron, and electron. Let's look into how an atomic model looks like. This is an example of atomic model. As you can see, in the center is the presence of nucleus. In the nucleus, we have the presence of proton that bring positive charge. In the nucleus as well, we have the presence of neutron, which is neutral. Last but not least, we have the presence of electron that have negative charge. That how an atom is being built. We have the presence of electron surrounding the nucleus. We have the proton and neutron in the nucleus. Then let's look into what is actually number of neutron, what is actually number of electron, number of proton, and nucleon number. Number of proton also will be named as proton number. The first example that we have on the screen is carbon atom. This is the atomic model of carbon atom. So this is our nucleus of the carbon atom. And what do we have inside the nucleus of carbon atom? We have the presence of six neutron and we have the presence of six proton. Therefore, the number of neutron is six, number of proton is six. And the number of electron is 6 as well, as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 surrounding the nucleus. That is the number of electron. How about nuclear number? Nuclear number is actually the number of proton plus number of neutron. In this case of carbon, number of proton is 6, number of neutron is 6. Therefore, the nuclear number is 12. The another example that we have on the screen is sodium atom. And this is the atomic model of sodium atom. Sodium having 12 neutron in the nucleus. Therefore, the number of neutron is 12. And sodium also having 11 proton in the nucleus. Therefore, the number of proton is 11. How many electrons sodium is having? As you can see here, we have 2 on the first shell. We have 8 on the second shell. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have 1 on the last shell. So the number of electrons is 11 because we have 11 electrons. This is the electronic configuration that you have learned in school. How about nuclear number? Nuclear number, again, is the number of proton plus number of neutron. So the proton number of sodium atom is 11. The number of neutron is 12. Therefore, nuclear number is 23. Very simple, isn't it? Both examples that we have discussed, both are neutral atom. Neutral atom means they have no charge. When they have no charge, that represents the number of proton is equal to the number of electron. We know that proton bring positive one charge, while every electron bring negative one charge. So when the number of proton is equal to the number of electron, the atom will eventually become neutral because the positive and the negative charge cancel off each other. So let's look back to the carbon and sodium that we have discussed just now. As you can see for carbon, the number of proton is 6. Therefore, the number of electron is also 6. We have 6 positive and we have 6 negative. 
that will eventually cancel off each other and the carbon atom right now is neutral. Well, for the sodium atom, the proton number is 11, while the number of electron also 11. Therefore, they cancel off each other. And the sodium atom right now, again, is neutral. How about cation and anion? What is cation and what is anion? Cation. Cation is a positively charged ion. Positively charged ion can be formed when electron is being removed. When we remove the electron, eventually the number of proton will be more than the number of electron. And the charge of the positive ion will depend on how many electron has been removed. The first example that I have is sodium ion. Sodium ion is a group 1 metal that holding positive 1 charge. So the number of neutron given is 12. The number of proton is 11. What would be the number of electron? If the number of proton is 11 and sodium is in the form of ion, positive 1 right now, so the number of electron will be 10 because we will remove one electron to achieve an A positive. And the differences that you can see over here, the proton number is now more than the electron number by 1. Therefore, the charge is positive 1. And the nuclear number for sodium is 23. The addition of neutron plus proton. Another example that we have is magnesium. Magnesium is a group 2 metal that holding 2 positive charge. The number of neutron given is 12. The number of proton of magnesium is 12. And to hold 2 positive charge, we need to remove 2 electron. Therefore, 12 minus 2, the number of electron left is 10. As you can see now, the proton number is more than the number of electron by 2. Therefore, we have the charge 2 positive. The nuclear number for magnesium will be 24 because the number of neutron is 12, number of proton is 12. An ion. An ion is a negatively charged ion. And the negatively charged ion can be formed when electron is being added. Added means you add in more electron, more negative charge into the atom. Therefore, the proton number will be less than the number of electron. And the negative charge is depends on how many electron is added into the atom. Let's look into fluorine ion. Fluorine ion, group 17, that will love to accept one electron to become F minus F negative 1 charge. The number of proton given is 9. The nuclear number given is 19. What would be the number of neutron? We know that the nuclear number is the number of proton plus the number of neutron. So, what would be the number of neutron? 19 minus 9. The neutron number will be 10. And how about the number of electron? Fluoride ion is a negative 1 charge ion. Therefore, the fluorine atom need to accept one electron to form fluorine ion. Therefore, number of electron will be 9 plus 1. So you have 10. And you can see the conclusion here where the number of electron is more than the number of proton by 1. Therefore, you will have one negative charge. How about oxygen ion? Oxygen ion most of the time will be in the form of O2 minus ion. O2 minus means how many electron is accepted by the oxygen atom. So let's look into the information given by the question. We have number of proton, 8. We have nuclear number, 16. So again, we know that the nuclear number is the addition of proton plus neutron. Since we have the nuclear number, 16, we have the proton number 8, 
So the number of neutron will be 8. How about number of electron? 2 negative over here. Alright, on the oxygen ion charge. Therefore, oxygen atom need to accept 2 electron to become oxygen ion 2 minus. So the number of electron in total will be 10. And you can see the number of proton right now is less than the number of electron by 2. Therefore, you have the oxygen ion 2 minus. Kind reminder over here, only electron can be added or removed from an atom. Therefore, only number of electron will change from an atom to an ion. But the number of neutron will remain the same, number of proton will remain the same, and the nuclear number will remain the same from an atom until become an ion. Alright? So remember, only electron can be removed or added, and therefore only the number of electron will change. And the number of proton shall remain the same from the beginning until the end. Always remember that. So that's it for this video. So I'll see you again in the part 2 of subtopic 2.1.